In the heart of a quiet town, nestled within the corners of a seemingly ordinary house, there lived a pair of elusive creatures. The first, a cupboard monster called the dark recesses of the kitchen pantry, its lair. The second, an under-the-bed monster, claimed the shadowy space beneath the mattress as its domain. Though unseen, their presence was eerily felt, casting a shroud of fear over the house's inhabitants. The cupboard monster, a creature of the shadows, had a taste for mischief. It would rattle the pots and pans in the dead of night, whispering incantations that would cause the canned food to dance. Its creaking laughter echoed through the silence, sending shivers down the spines of those who dared to listen. Its eyes, gleaming like twin moons, would peek through the slats of the cupboard door, watching, waiting. On the other hand, the under-the-bed monster was a crafty creature. It thrived in the dim light that trickled beneath the bed, lurking in the unseen corners. It reveled in the fear it instilled, the gasps it drew, the quickened heartbeats it caused. It would reach out with its cold, clammy hands, brushing against an unsuspecting foot or a stray toy, its low growl resonating in the stillness of the room. These creatures had coexisted for years, the unspoken rulers of their respective territories. They thrived on the fear they instilled, the whispers of their existence that passed from one generation of children to the next. Yet, they remained unseen, their existence a chilling legend. A bedtime story meant to frighten young ones into good behavior. One day, however, a new family moved into the house. They were blissfully unaware of the chilling presence that lurked within their new home. The children, a pair of twins, were fearless and curious. They laughed at the idea of monsters, dismissing the strange noises as figments of their imagination. But as the days turned into weeks, they could no longer ignore the strange happenings around their house. The twins decided to confront these unseen menaces, to demystify the legends that had haunted the house for generations. They devised a plan, armed themselves with courage, and waited for the darkness to fall. As the night unfurled its cloak, the house came alive with the eerie sounds of the cupboard and under the bed monsters. The twins, undaunted, were ready to face whatever lurked in the shadows. But what happened next? Well, that's a story for another time. As the moonlight seeps through the window and the night stretches on, remember this. Not all monsters are what they seem, and not all fears are unfounded. The tale of the cupboard and under the bed monsters is far from over. So till then, listen closely to the whispers in the dark the creaking of the cupboard, the rustling under the bed. For who knows what lurks in the shadows when the lights go out.